I'm Steve Henry with Wild West Aircraft. And we're the guys that you want to get a hold of when you're ready for a really, really awesome backcountry airplane because we sell the Highlanders and Superstoles. We sell the kits, so you get to, the joy of building your own airplane too, which is like one of the most rewarding things that you'll ever do. It's, it's been a while since we've put any new video on. The last one we really did was the first flights on Yeehaw 8, which is my newest Highlander, and it, it's the XL frame. So it's two feet longer than the normal Highlander. You can get a Superstole or a Highlander with the, the regular length frame or the XL frame. And there's a lot of XL Superstoles out there. I don't think there's, well, there's getting to be more XL Highlanders too because we've sold quite a few kits. They're mostly still in the process of being built. I've been flying the new, the new XL Highlander now for a little over 60 hours and I am really liking it. it. It just, it handles so good, it works so well. It's nice having that extra leverage back there on the tail. It's, it's better for landing. Um, it's, it's a little easier taxiing. I don't need to use the brakes as much for directional control because we use a free castering tail wheel. So your directional control is either all, it's your rudder and your brakes. And that tail being back there two feet farther makes more of that happen with just the rudder and I can stay off the brakes a little more save them for those landings because I, I do really, really use my brakes hard when I'm landing. And speaking of the brakes, this airplane has got some new Mark and Genio brakes and wheels and they're working great. They're out of Italy and uh, we actually have them for sale. I, I haven't really told many people that. I wanted to really try them out good before I, before I had any interest in being a dealer for them. A lot, a lot of the components that we use on our airplane, we're, we're also dealers for too. And I'm really picky about that. I don't, I don't want to sell anything that I don't really believe in. And normally for me to believe in it, I have to have used it and tried it. Some of those things are, are uh, EarthX batteries, the Tundra Light tail wheel, Oratex covering, GRT avionics, uh, the Aero LEDs. Sky Cowboy, my helmet's a Sky Cowboy, and man, it's the most comfortable thing. It's along with a, uh, a Bose headset. I never had a Bose headset before. I've had a lot of other kinds, but those are nice. Sensenic props, they've, they've helped me out in the last year, and they've got a brand new prop on its way here. Uh, the Skytrax gearboxes that we use on these Yamaha engines. Um, flying eyes, my glasses. I love these things for flying. They're the they're by far the most comfortable glasses I've ever had with a they're the most comfortable glasses I've ever had, period, but especially under a headset. So anyway, a lot of those you can you can get from us <clears throat> and even the ones you can't, they're good products to use. There's a link in the description to go to to get a code to get your flying eyes. Gives you a discount. You'll love them. Our first competition coming up this year is in the middle of March in, in Louisiana, Swamp Stole. And then there's a little bit of a break there, and Sun and Fun is right after that. So we'll make that all in one trip. At the end of May, we have Wayne America Fly-In in Wayne, Nebraska. And it's going to be really fun because it's, it's the first time we've had the National Stole Series and Stole Drag together at the same event. So we're going to do, the plan is to do the traditional stole during the day and run stole drag at night under the lights. So that'll be a new thing for, for all of us. Um, I think it sounds like a blast. You know, we used to, Sarah and I used to race cars and things under the lights all the time. It was just fun racing at night. It's kind of a different feel, different, different vibe, and it's, it's really cool. So we're, I'm looking really forward to trying that out. And my new, my new, uh, Highlander, it's going to be really, really nice for stoll drag. It's nice for everything, but it's going to be particularly nice for stoll drag, I think, as far as the competitions. And I can't, I, I don't know anything I'd want better about it for just flying, too, just flying around, going to the backcountry stuff. I, 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 there's, I can't think anything really I would change to make it work better for that. This Yamaha engine with the, the Hyper Sports Ignition that I have on it. It's incredibly tunable. I can have more than one map in my ECU all at once and just, just change it with a flip of a switch. 
so the, the airplane, it's like the, I think it's the best do everything Highlander that I've ever had. I, I know it is. I have enough time on it now, I know it is. Taking off 2 9 midfield at 8 3, A 3, and gonna land down at the 1 1 numbers, Nampa. the slow flight. My favorite place to do it once I, I mean it's good to go up high and, and do a little of it, but you really have no reference when you're up high. You don't, you don't really know if you're going up or down a little bit, so I like to do it right over the runway, but low enough to the runway that if I really do screw up and like lose a wing, you know, drop a wing, I'm close enough to the ground that I'm not going to hurt anything. been real calm the last couple of days I've been out here practicing. Kind of squirrely today a little bit. Makes me definitely, you know, I'm really working things a lot more to the wings level. I can get more practice in doing this, just this little thing here, not going around the pattern. It doesn't take nearly as much time, and when I have my cheap little tires on, I'm not worrying about wearing them out. Actually works pretty good to get some practice and stay right here at the airport where it's convenient if we only have just a little while to practice. Nampa traffic, Yellow Honda taking off 2-9 at A3, landing and turn off at A2, Nampa. XL Highlander just works works so good. I really like the slats on this. They work they seem to work better on the XL than they do on the normal frame. I'm able to able to get more angle to attack and it just feels more controllable. I don't really have my takeoff set up. Like I'm running on my low power mo gas mode and the prop I have on here is not really my Dip traffic beneath the three seven Anyway, I don't have the, it's not really the right setup for takeoff, but it still takes off pretty darn good. From there to there. But we do have about 10 miles an hour of wind, too. Pretty short. I don't know how long it was. I need to get my uh, yellow tape on my tires too, so you can tell how many times they go around. I think this time I'm going to do a takeoff and climb out, go around the pattern once. <laughs> 